hello so today i'll show you how you can create dash for your game this type of dash but instead of a single uh, method to do a dash i'll show you three various methods okay three different type of methods to achieve dash in your game and each three of them have the have their unique advantages and disadvantages uh, and you can choose either of them according to your needs all right so let's get started all three of them are very simple to execute like literally very simple like as you can see this is the first one this is the second one and this is the third one that's all you need ignore this this is just uh, the inputs and everything i have created which makes it easy for me to show you and explain you uh, like to demonstrate each and every one of them all right so you can ignore this part and we'll straightly skip to the uh, main part okay so right now we have three types of dashes first is the launch dash second is the montage dash and third is the motion warping dash so what are the differences between all three of them for launch dash we use this the launch character node all right that's why it is a launch dash for montage dash it is purely montage driven animation driven so the distance that your animation uh, animations root motion uh, does okay the distance that it covers is the distance that you will get and this is the motion warping dash this is i would this is the one i would recommend for you to do okay now where would you need a launch dash the launch launch dash you might need where you want to carry the momentum all right where you want to carry the momentum as your player moves uh, may it be aerial or uh, anything like that so it's really good for uh, let's say you have a flying character and it can dash while flying and can carry momentum or it is a skateboard character uh, on rollerblades or something like that that time launch dash is really useful montage dash it is useful when this dash thing is embedded in your combat system like uh, it is a type of dash to avoid a player uh, avoid the enemy okay something like that and this motion motion warping dash this can be used when you want to dash from point to point all right where you literally want to go to that exact point okay so that's where you can use motion warping dash okay so let's see how we can create the launch dash now that we know which one to use when so the launch dash this one well this do ones i've added it uh, in all three of them this is basically your uh, cool down timer okay i just have it uh, connected to the completed state you can either have a cool down timer and have some booleans and everything connected here maybe have a branch but uh, let's get to the main main gist of it so for the launch dash you need to be careful that we need an animation okay which is stationary by stationary i mean which does not have a root motion as you can see when this animation is playing it does not have a root motion it is an in place animation is what we call it right so this is an in place animation so that's what we need for uh, launch dash so we are going to just create an animation montage which i have already did here okay now that we have that animation montage i have two things here one i have a sound well this is your choice if you want a sound or not or anything like that second is the important thing which is a montage notifier how do we get that right click add notify montage notify if you don't get it just write montage oh, montage notify you will get it all right now once you add that montage notify okay be careful of the fact that for launching we do need a little bit of delay before we launch the character okay or else this does not work there is something with launch launching character 
I guess you also need it uh, after you launch it, right? If you are um, toggling your uh, collisions and uh, states like character movement states, sometimes you uh, change it from walking to flying if you are doing parkour or anything like that, right? So even there you need a delay after that. So just because of that, be careful that actually I want my dash to start from here. So I have pushed it back a little. The montage notify. All right. As you can see, there is a little bit of um, what we call an anticipation frames. These anticipation frames, right? So what we have got here is at notify begin. I have created a delay. Then created this node launch character launch character right then i have got actor get actor forward vector okay now i have the actors forward vector i multiply it by the distance that i want to go okay dash distance i wanted 500 units then what i've did, did is added in a few centimeters like hundreds sorry 100 centimeters so that it doesn't uh, get affected by the friction okay so you can play along with this number and also with dash distance as you can see here it is quite difficult to get the exact dash distance okay we want 500 units uh, 500 centimeter we want to travel right but as you can see we don't travel 500 centimeters so we actually have to add a thousand centimeters due to the friction so you really need to play with this there are many uh, there are many uh, what do you say tutorials which teach you to do dashing with launch character but yes launch character does give you some advantages and disadvantages if you are as I, as i said if your character is flying or something like that midair or something that time this type of dash where you want to carry the momentum it is really useful but in normal casual dash it is really uh, what do you say it sucks ass so uh, why well as you can see you really need to nail that distance or else you will experience foot sliding let me demonstrate did you see in the end frames you will see the foot sliding if i get it from uh, if i set it to 2000 you will again see the foot sliding yeah right so you really need to uh, get it accurate how far you want to go and this can be messed up if you are your character is moving or running and everything like that okay so we get to the next one next one is the montage dash dash okay again right here what you need is um your cool down and stuff okay once you are uh, done with that all you need is a montage okay and now you need a dash animation so it is really useful when you have this type of dash in your combat system and uh, there can be other things too where this is uh, really useful but all i can think is a combat system so this type of dash is basically just a dash okay but with root motion as you can see uh, you really need to uh, turn on the root motion but for demonstration i'll show it like this as you can see it does have a root motion animation okay it does have root motion and we are going to use this root motion for our dash so turn on the root motion enable root motion create uh what do you call it um create an animation montage and then feed it in your root motion uh, in your montage so now as you can see i'll show you the second dash which is this if you are having difficulty to understand which dash i am using i have created three different sounds 
two three different dashes i'll show you first one is the softer one second is a bit louder third method is the loudest okay so now you know like when i'm using the three different dashes so that is the second dash this is the most simple way of dashing i would highly recommend using this if you have a good animation that you really uh, can go with or you have an animator working with you whom can with whom you can communicate and create the perfect dash animation okay now third one is the one which you can use anywhere like literally in any situation you can use this but especially when you want to go from a single point to the other point okay this is the motion warping and this is the highly requested part and this is why i am making this tutorial mainly for motion warping so firstly this is exclusively available in unreal engine 5 okay this method is in unreal engine 5 only not existing in 4 there are additional plugins that you can buy on marketplace which can uh, help you do motion warping in unreal engine 4 but it is exclusively um, this exactly the method i'm showing you is exclusive to unreal engine 5 so if you are using unreal engine 5 then you will have this firstly what you need to do is uh, go into your file or yeah edit not file in edit and in plugins and select uh, motion motion warping this is currently in beta okay but you really uh, you need to check this box okay it might not be checked you need to check it close it then restart your engine okay then it will be enabled okay once it is enabled go into your character here click on add and write motion warping you here you can see motion warping i have already added it here okay add in motion warping and you don't need to check anything and as you can see the settings if you don't have the same settings just copy it uh, copy these settings all right once you have these settings what you need to do is create an event motion warp dash warping dash this do once is basically your um cool down and everything okay once you have done that we are going to get get the exact location okay so now getting the exact location is actually important so what we are going to do here is um debug yeah all right so motion warping dash once you have added that motion warping and everything what you need to do is there is do once your uh, all calculations now create a variable called dash point okay and a draw sphere okay create draw sphere so why do we need the draw sphere just to check if uh, what we are doing is correct get the actress location actress forward location and the dash distance like uh, in the first one here we did in launch dash we create uh, do the same exact thing here but we do need to add it to actor location or else it will do this relative to 000 world's 000 location so you need to tell it that to do it relative to actress location okay and then add it to the dash point and then add the dash point to draw the debug spear okay now we that we have this you can test you can call this function anywhere you want okay i've turned off the actual dashing i'll just show you the point as you can see the point is far away right because we have dash distance of thousand but if we have it at 500 you can see we have the point closer to us the point is closer to us all right that's where we will dash now 
bring out your motion warping okay drag out and write add or update warp target okay this is what you need this one when you call it it will look like this but what you need to do is go here right click split struck pin all right now you have all these options okay so firstly what we need to do is feed in the dash point that we created okay feed in your dash point and get your actor rotation okay and feed it in as well now go ahead connect this okay go ahead and call your montage the way we did here okay call your montage and again this montage also needs to be root motion okay this montage needs root motion i guess sometimes if you don't have it it works as well too but right here the root motion it does like um the distance it covers or anything it really does not matter even if your root motion just moves one centimeter or something like that it does not really matter but because what you are going to do is move it using motion warping okay so once you have created this then this is basically your um what do you call it um cool down and stuff and everything to reset this okay this is the actual thing that you need this the one that the things that i have selected okay these are the things that you need for the motion warping to work so once you have created this copied what i have done then go in your animation montage this should be uh root motion enabled okay now here i have a sound so once you are in here create a notify track okay and then right click instead of in notif add notify you need to go in add notify state and here you need to search for motion warping okay motion warping as you can see this is the same one i have created above i don't need to i'll delete the first one okay so what you need to do is start it from where you want your animation to start okay so as you can see this is the build up and right here it starts to dash okay and then end the animation where you want the animation to like where uh your recovery part starts of your animation okay so this can be as long as you want as short as you want but as longer it is the better okay i have uh experienced some issues when i when this uh notify is very small like if i am making this notify this short okay it has given me issues but uh this much is um really good okay it really uh, feels very natural as long it is okay so make it as far you uh, uh, stretch it as far as you can so once you have done this select this motion warping notify state go here okay in root motion modifier select skew warping it should be selected by default if not then select notify color you don't need to touch it go in advance you don't need to touch it here at root motion modifier you do need to touch it okay open the collapsed uh, thing if it is collapsed but if it is not good you need this open then warp name warp target name okay this is really important okay if you mess this up the system won't work the name that you type here okay warp target name okay the name that you type here is the name you need here warp target name it needs to be exactly the same name okay no uh, even with uh, the upper case and lower case thing if you mess it up uh, it won't read okay it will not uh, identify the which one to use okay so make sure to copy paste it okay yeah exactly the same names 
motion warping then warp translation should be checked because that's what we are doing we are warping the translation okay we are warping the animation to location ignore z axis right now my animation or the way we are dashing it does uh, does not need to take in account the z axis so right now we will ignore but if your animation does have a little bit of jump or something like that uh, uncheck this okay when you when your animation is in such a way or your system is in such a way where you need to have that jump that altitude thing okay then uncheck this if you don't have that then keep it checked okay warp rotation you do need that warp rotation okay but if you do have a very niche uh, system okay very niche thing that you are doing where you are rotating the player or anything then uh, you don't need to check this okay this should be untrue if you are um, mid dash if you are rotating the player or anything like that okay so be careful about it as you can see the warp target rotation is also here okay so if i want my player to look somewhere else after it has dashed okay then i can change it here also so once i have done this okay once if you don't have that niche things okay the particular things that you are doing differently okay if you are doing just simple dash <coughs> sorry this is how your uh, code should look okay you can later on delete this uh, draw sphere or un unconnect this all right once you have done this step by step then i guess you are done then your animation will look like uh, dash will look like this as you can see it goes the exact point okay and the dash does look awesome now the beauty of this system is if i change the dash distance okay from 500 i make it 1000 okay it will still look sick as you can see it will still uh, change my dash uh, animation and make it uh, what do you say uh, adjust it it will adjust it to the location okay let's say we don't need that long we just need it like 253 like very particular uh, distance that we want to travel okay as you can see it works smoothly even in that okay if you think that uh, the recovery animation starts a little bit early or late you can go ahead and change this okay as you can see uh, if i put it here now it will give it a little bit of um, different taste okay as you can see so go ahead and change this if you want okay play along with it but after that your animation your dash should be really perfect like that's all you need to do in uh, dashing with motion warping so again as motion warping was the most requested i'll do a recap of motion warping so firstly create a location where you want to dash to which should be usually the forward vector if you don't want the actress forward location or something like that you can get your uh, wasd input or your analog input or basically the movement input that you are having multiplied by the dash distance this is actually the distance you want and the, then you create the dash point okay if you don't want this if you want to create your dash point in any other way you can create it but you do need that uh, vector variable okay dash point name it whatever you want then you need to have this motion warping uh, from your motion warping okay if you cannot see this go here in your edit in plugins 
and in plugin search for motion warping okay it should be a uh, check this restart your uh, engine motion warping only works in unreal engine 5 doesn't work in unreal engine 4 unless you have a uh, custom plugin okay then create uh, from motion warping drag this add input update uh, you won't see all these options you just need to get the first uh, option and then split it feed in your dash point feed in your actors rotation okay as it is unless you want the end rotation to be something else play your animation montage okay make sure to have it at root motion check then have your cooldown and everything then in your animation montage right click go to add notify state select motion warping right stretch it from the start of your dash okay where your actual dash starts not the build up and then till where your recovery animations uh, uh, recovery frame starts okay N have skew warping for warp target name make sure to have this whatever you write here to be whatever is written here okay make sure it is word to word and uppercase to uppercase lowercase to lowercase okay everything exact then warp, warp translation should be checked through this ignore z axis and warp rotation this can be uh, checked or unchecked depending on your animation how your animation is or the, if it has uh, a jump in the dash or anything like that okay if it does have a jump in the dash uh, by that i mean as you can see it dashes horizontally but if your animation does have some verticality then you need to uncheck this if your animation has a particular rotation or something like that uh, by that i mean if it dashes and in the end frames it rotates itself 180 or something like that then uncheck this as well okay and then done you are done with the dashing and uh, yeah that is how you can dash in three different ways in your game so choose either one of them to implement in your game and do it if you want all three of them do it all three of them if you want either one of them do it so my recommendations for each one of them you have heard launch dash is better for move uh, places where you want to carry momentum or you want the momentum to be in play montage dash is better for uh, animation driven accurate stuff where uh, it can be for your combat related stuff or something like um, I don't know that's all I can think and uh, third is motion warping which is best for going from one location to another location all right it can be really useful so yeah that's it that's the tutorial just ignore all of this you don't need to know all of this this is just um, some code i've created to make the demonstration easier when i show you this yeah the three different types so yeah if you are confused still ask questions in the comments i will respond to each and every one of them if you have any questions ask them in comments if you have any other particular uh, suggestions or better way to do it let me know in the comments if you have other recommend other uh, recommendations for tutorials if you have questions to do something else like how do i do this or that apart from this dashing or some other thing comment it and i'll make a custom tutorial for that especially for you and yeah that's it that's how you do dashing in your game and yeah enjoy your dashing until next time see ya bye bye have good games <laughs>